You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're continuing more on Chloe Burchard's point of view. And it looks like Silas is going to get his revenge. Or is he? Find out. Making his way, Silas knew this wasn't a good idea. But he had to think of something. He had to. Otherwise, it wouldn't be too good for him. Damn it. Where the hell are you? Where are you, Marcus? Right here, a voice said to Silas. Silas couldn't believe it. There he was. Marcus stayed. And boy... He looked really menacing. So you're here. I know it was you. You were the one that killed him. You killed them all. My father and his buddies. What were you thinking? Silas said, Oh, come on. It's just for the amusement now, isn't it? Said Marcus. Did you really know how much that hurt? You even heard my grandmother begging. You did nothing. You didn't do anything. Oh, shut up. Look at you, all quivering like a little wimpy boy. <laughs> just looking at you just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, so what if I did? Wait until I get my hands on you. When I'm done with you, there won't be anything left. Silas said with menacing in his voice. Silas! Chloe called out. She and Barnaby managed to find him. Listen to me. He's not worth it. How did you find me? I have my ways. Listen to me. He's definitely not worth it. Just leave him be. Oh, leave him be. Leave him be. You're right. Like in hell I'm gonna leave him be. You really are going to pay for what you did. You hear me, you son of a bitch? Silas said, oh really? You know, Chloe, your friends, Randy, and all the others. You know, Randy is such a cutie. I just love looking at that little ass. You leave Randy out of this, Chloe said. You know, killing all those people in the mall was a great direct order. You caused that? Not just the death of Silas's father. You caused that? Do you even realize what you're saying? Oh yeah. You know, I've always wanted to say that to her. Just in case maybe I can have a little taste of her ass. Said Marcus Sade. You are disgusting. Oh yeah. And by the way... You know, your girlfriend is kind of hot, too. I would have banged them both. Shut up. You're disgusting. How could you say such profanity? Well, it's true. I am a ladies' man. And also a killer. There's no way in hell I'm going to let Randy near you. And why would you say that, anyway? Because you know what? I'm through with this world. I just want to see it all burn. All of it burn. We're not going to let you get away with this, Barnaby said. Oh, really, pretty boy? What are you going to do, flip your pretty hair? Oh, I'll be swooning in no time. You know, death of your parents 
It's kind of pathetic. Kind of like how I, what I did. You should have seen Randy strutting like a model. Damn, it's like watching someone on the runaway. It's really sexy. And at the same time, when she saw those gunmen, when she ducked for cover and pretended to be dead, damn, that was hot. And now you're really losing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Chloe, Marcus said, you're going to be even hotter when I kill you. Oh, is that what you think? A voice said from above. Marcus said he couldn't believe it. Wait, that voice. He sounds familiar. Barnaby couldn't believe it. Lunatic. Oh my god, it's him. It's Lunatic. Standing right above the building. There he was. Oh, so that's the lunatic. This is the guy I've been hearing so much about. Silas said, yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. He looks pretty scary with that mask, Silas remarked. He's also pretty terrifying with those powers of his. And also... <laughs> Barnaby's actually afraid of flames. Really? Dude, I didn't even know you were afraid of fire. Well then, you should have known better. Uh, but at least I'm getting a little better, Barnaby said. Well, that's good, said Silas. But why is he here? I don't know. Did he hear everything? I guess. I didn't even see him. Chloe remarked, standing there. The lunatic called out to Marcus Sade. Marcus Sade, I heard everything. And I must say, you're quite a naughty boy. Oh, am I? Well, you're more of a crazy person by the name of lunatic. <laughs> Man, what are you gonna do to me? Oh, are you gonna turn me in? You gonna hurt me? Oh, it's not gonna change anything. Oh no, I do things a lot more differently than you think. <laughs>